balancing a chemical equation can be a real challenge. And in this video, I'll share with you how to balance a chemical equation using four success criteria to nail it down. I'm Orlando Broomfield from Chemistry Core. Let's solve this chemistry exam style question together. How to write a balanced chemical equation. To correctly do so, we need to know the nature of the chemical reaction, symbol for the elements, formula for the compounds, and how to use coefficients to balance the chemical equation. We will need to kick things off with an understanding of the nature of the reaction that will give us the reactants, the products, and their state symbols. All we have from the question is that calcium carbonate reacts with hydrochloric acid. Now to know what the products are, we need to rely on the theory of the reaction of acids. Acids will react with metal carbonates to give three products, a salt, carbon dioxide, and water. We know that carbon dioxide is a gas. So we use G for that symbol there. We also know that water is liquid. From the theory of the solubility of carbonates, we know that all carbonates are insoluble except when those carbonates are bonded to a group 1 metal or the ammonium ion. So calcium carbonate is definitely a solid and we use S for that symbol. The mineral acids or the inorganic acids are soluble in water as well and because they can dissolve in water they get the symbol of AQ meaning aqueous. And now for the salt. A salt is formed when the replaceable hydrogen ions in an acid are replaced by a metal or the ammonium ion. Hydrochloric acid will produce salts known as chlorides. And the metal replacing the hydrogen from hydrochloric acid is calcium. So the salt is calcium chloride plus carbon dioxide CO2 plus water H2O. And for the solubility of calcium chloride, all chlorides are soluble except silver and lead. Well, calcium is neither silver nor lead, so of course it is aqueous. Next, we are going to use the correct symbol for each element and the correct charge of each ion in order to determine the formula of the missing compounds. Calcium, which has a charge of two plus, and carbonate, which is a polyatomic anion with a charge of two negative. We are going to exchange the number of the charges to arrive at the formula. When we take the two from the calcium and the two from the carbonate ion, we realize that we can cancel each other out by dividing by two. So the formula of calcium carbonate is CaCO3. Next, we have hydrochloric acid. We know the two ions are H plus and Cl minus, the chloride ion. Here, there's a one, although it's not written. There's also a one here, although it's not written. And so, we have one and one. We do not write those, just as in mathematics. And so, the formula is HCl. And lastly, calcium chloride. We know the charge for calcium is Ca2 plus, and for chloride, it is Cl minus. We take the two from the, carb the calcium and the one from the chloride, and that gives us a formula of CaCl2. 
And now we are at our final stage where we will use coefficients, if necessary, to ensure that there are equal amounts of each element on both sides of the equation. On the left hand side, we have one calcium. We also have one on the right hand side. That's fine. On the left hand side, we have one carbon. We also have one carbon on the right hand side. That's fine. We have a total of three oxygen on the left hand side and two and one, three on the right hand side. Yay. We have one hydrogen on the left hand side and two on the right, which means we need to put a two here to balance the amount of hydrogen atoms um, in the equation. But this two here also affects this chlorine here. So that's now two chloride ions on the left hand side. And guess what? We also have two on the right hand side, which means our equation is completely balanced. Thank you for watching this video on solving problems in chemistry with Chemistry Core. If you were tuned in, you are now able to convert worded equations to symbol equations with state symbols. To do so well requires that you know the nature of the reaction, the symbol for the elements, the formula for the compounds, and the skill of using coefficients to balance the equation. Good luck on your exams and I'll see you next time.